Jessica from Friday Sea Diet Laughing here and I am here with a video for the Irish Readathon and today I'm going to be talking about some Irish writers that I want to read more of. Some of these uh, writers I've actually I've only either read a couple of their books or one book um, or their writers that I've known about for a while but I just have not managed to read any of their books yet. The first author I'm going to talk about and that is Marion Keyes. Uh, Marion Keyes writes a lot of um, adult contemporary fiction and she just seems like really funny. I followed her on Twitter and she does YouTube videos sometimes as well and she just seems like really really funny. She's very kind of laugh out loud humour and um, she's quite down to earth and I kind of feel like she from what I have gathered she does like she's able to write about things that are very meaningful but it in a way that she twists them where there's this great humour in them as well. Um, so you can be really reading about really serious topics but laughing along at the same time. Um, so I'm hoping to pick up um, a couple of Marion Keyes books uh, this month and hopefully that will continue on throughout the year as well. Another uh, author that did end up on my TBR list last week was Maeve Binchy. Um, I've only read The Night of Rain and Stars by Maeve Binchy that I read a few years ago and I'm planning on reading Tara Road this month as well. Um, Maeve Binchy again, she kind of writes kind of adult contemporary fiction and um, um, and she just has this really nice way of writing this kind of very relaxed and um, she just writes a Night of Rain and Stars did centre around a group of people as well and from what I can see so does like Tara Road and so does her other book Circle of Friends which is also quite popular which was turned into a movie um, in the 90s I think um, so yeah she just seems to write some like this really nice fiction that you can just kind of settle down with in bed and fly through um, so she's definitely someone on my list to read a lot more of as well Edna O'Brien is an Irish author who I have read Into the Forest by um, last year, which I also read during the Irish Readathon, which is a very interesting look at a murder case. Um, it's kind of a novelised version of a murder case that did actually happen in Ireland. Um, and it's quite a creepy, dark book that uh, left me feeling all kind of weird uh, after I read it. But I did quite enjoy it at the same time. Um, but Edna O'Brien has read quite has written quite a lot of other books um, and one of those is the Country Girls trilogy which I do hope to read within the next couple of weeks. Um, as I said this is a book that she originally, originally uh, wrote in the 1960s um, and it was banned in Ireland because I think it was just too provo provocative or something for Irish society at the time. Her local priest burned it um, in front of the church, in front of her parents and her family. Um, they were not very happy with her at all. Um, so yeah, this is one that I do really, really want to read and pick up. Another Irish author, author that I have not read, which is actually really terrible, is Oscar Wilde. And I had the full intentions of reading The Picture of Dorian Gray last year for the Irish Readathon, which was for one of the challenges. Um, and I didn't mean to read it, and I do have it somewhere. And I just never got around to it. And now I can't figure out where I put my copy of it. Um, it's somewhere I can probably get it for free on my Kindle. Like all those classics are generally, you can get them for free um, or on iBooks. Um, but I do have a physical copy of it somewhere and I cannot find it. Um, but it is one, I actually really like the movie for the picture of Dorian Gray. Though I haven't watched it in a very long time. Um, but I do like the general storyline of what it is about. Um, so yeah, it's definitely one I'm going to pick up. Hopefully... This month, it's quite a short book, so if I do happen to find it somewhere, I will read it. Emma Hannigan is another Irish writer that I do want to read, and um, she also has written um, a lot of contemporary fiction. Emma Hannigan is actually an author that came to um, my attention last year. She very sadly um, died of cancer. The last book she wrote, The Gift of Friends, just recently came out um, in uh, shops over here in Ireland and it's obviously the last book that she wrote before she died um, and there was another book that she had out last year around the time when she, when she was dying and a lot of Irish authors rallied around on social media to try and make sure that she hit the bestseller list and it was just this really nice campaign even though it was obviously really, really sad as well um, but I just have never picked her up um, and I do want to now. I want to be able to support her and her family now and be able to pick those books up and read them and uh, I think they're probably books that I will really really enjoy because I do love a really good contemporary um, novel now and again so this is definitely one that I will pick up. John Boyne is an Irish author that I have read a couple of books of but is someone who I want to read more of. I have read The Boy in the Striped Pajamas which most people um, have prob probably know John Boyne for and I've also read Mutiny on the Bounty by him as well um, which is a really good historical fiction if anyone likes historical fiction I would definitely recommend that one as well. That, that one's excellent. That's more adult than The Boy in the Striped Pajamas um, but recently he has brought out some uh, real kind of literary um, novels as well. The Hearts Invisible Furies which I just picked up on my Kindle the other day because um, it was on special offer so that is one I'm hoping to pick up soon as well and maybe I might uh, read it with a couple of friends um, who also are planning to uh, read it. Um, so yeah I this is I, I've heard 
so many amazing things um, about the Hearts Invisible Furies by a lot of different people both in real life and on booktube and it's one I do definitely want to read um, and he also has a new book out at the moment as well Ladder to the Sky and I've also heard amazing things about that and um, yeah he's just someone whose writing has really gelled at me in the past um, and I just haven't read any of his latest books um, which is terrible on me really um, but it's one he's one that obviously I will get to at some point in the future and um, hopefully this month and if not at some point soon. John Banville is also someone who I really really want to read and is someone who I've been meaning to read for a couple of years because I did see him um, talking at a crime writing festival that I attended a couple of years ago and he is just such an interesting intelligent man and I loved hearing about him talking about his writing and him talking about his characters and um, he also writes under the pseudonym uh, Benjamin Black and um, where he does the Quirk novels which is all about this detective called, called Quirk um, and obviously he is out uh, solving crime um, and that was turned into a TV series as well um, so he's also known really well for that but a lot of his other work he's won so many awards um, with all of his other literary novels um, and one here that I'm going to pick up very very soon this week or next week is Dr Copernicus um, which is all about the scientist Copernicus. His work led to the formulation um, of the image of the solar system which is very interesting and um, so this is kind of a the first book in a trilogy I think um, and it is just kind of a novelised version of his life which just sounds really good and it's quite short though the writing in it is very small as you can see but um, I just I just have a feeling I'm going to really like this um, and yeah and I'm definitely going to pick up his Benjamin Black books as well which are all about quirk because I also really love a good crime mystery. Emer McBride is also a author I really really want to read soon and um, she has two books A Girl is a Half-Formed Thing and The Lesser Bohemians both books I've heard very interesting things about both have really piqued my interest in the last few years they're just not ones that I have ended up picking up um, and they are definitely on my list of Irish books slash authors I need to read. This one is one that every Irish person is probably going to kill me for um, and the fact is, is that I've never properly read a Ronnie Doyle book um, which is actually terrible of me um, and I don't know why I haven't picked it up he's probably one again that I think is probably Probably his books are scattered all around the house um, and I just have never picked it up um, I really really want to read The Snapper because I do really love that movie um, so I do want to read The Snapper and see if the book does live up to the movie um, which it probably will probably be better the books are normally better um, so yeah it's just like and as I said I think Leanne actually um, over at Leanne Rose was saying recently that it's real Dublin humour as well and obviously I grew up in Dublin so um, I think it's probably humour that I'll get on really really well with um, in his books and in his writing um, so yeah the Roddy Doyle is someone who I have to read pronto. And another Irish writer I want to read is Elizabeth Bowen who wrote as far as I know a lot of short stories. Over she's written a lot of kind of short stories and short fiction around war and like around World War II time um, which obviously piques my interest a lot. I love stories uh, centred around uh, one of the World Wars um, and yeah she's definitely someone who I've only learned about recently um, which is terrible of me I know um, but is definitely someone who I want to pick up soon. So those are my list of some Irish writers I really want to read soon and um, um, as I said, I probably won't get I probably won't get all these read this month, but um, I definitely they are on my list. Writers I want to read very soon. Um, let me know if you guys have read any of these. Uh, if you have any book particular book recommendations from these authors, um, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye.